Welcome to GoLeopards.com. It's Bucknell Week, and here with me is assistant basketball coach John O'Connor. John, you drew the uh, the short straw. You get to scout the Bucknell Bison. <laughs> it's always tough to go up to Soika, but uh, this time we've got the Bison coming here. What can you tell us about these guys? Well, I think the biggest thing about them is they have 11 guys that they're playing who are contributing in a lot of different ways. And, you know, in a league where, you know, every every possession, every game's coming down to the last possession, the more contributions you can get off the bench, the better. You know, John, I was just talking to uh, Pat Doherty a little while ago, and you and I have talked about this before, that when you get into league play, the familiarity among these teams is so uh, uh, so pr pronounced uh, that it tends to l lead itself to, to games in the 60s. That might not be Lafayette's personality. We know the offensive system you guys run is outstanding. You're difficult to guard. But it seems that in league play, um, you know, adjustments have had to be made on your part. And I'm wondering, Bucknell loves to play in the 60s. Is, is, is that a factor yeah but I think it's you know two sides you know one they're not going to you know try to push the ball offensively in transition but I think they do a great job defensively and I think defensively in the key that they really play personnel and they do a really good job with us as far as you know no matter who comes into the game you know they they have a pretty good idea of what they want to do with them now it's up to us to take advantage of it and you know this is something that we got to try to do the second time around yeah matchups are so important and we when we look at certain teams uh, obviously bucknell is a team that that resembles us in terms of size uh, and and in terms of uh, i just think the two they're they're so well coached as are we and it really comes down to a chess match Talk about some of the individual matchups, John, that you focused on that you see as keys. Well, you know, obviously you got to stop Haas. I mean, if he comes in and if you look down their stats and if he's making threes, you know, it's tough. Uh, the other thing, too, is Nana Fallon has taken another jump. I thought the Colgate game, he really was kind of his coming out party. I mean, he was just in the lane where in a situation where you're going to have to do something with him. We're going to try to double him, you know, because he was either scoring or going to the line. But, you know, Nana has certainly started to clog up the lane. And the other thing he's doing is whether he's rebounding the ball or he's tapping it back, he's just gaining them, you know, that key extra possession. And as you talked about possessions being so important, especially uh, when you play the style that Bucknell plays. John, as we took a look at some of the personnel that I tried to write up here on the board, uh, you know, I saw your eyes kind of light up and say, you know, John, what are you talking about? You left the key guy out. Yeah. You guys introduced him to the world. Zach Thomas, uh, the last time I saw Bucknell play was against Lehigh, and mm -hmm. Zach Thomas went absolutely ballistic. He is a tremendous streak shooter. Yeah, no, I, you know, I thought Dave did an excellent job in, as far as just adjusting. And like I said, you know, we certainly introduced him to the world the first time around. And he's a kid with his feet set and, you know, uh, can really knock it out. Well, you guys are coming off two great wins. Uh, and, and in this league, uh, two wins constitutes a real streak, two wins in a row. Uh, and the last time I checked, given all the tiebreakers, we're in the upper half of the Patriot League division. Uh, one more point, John, about Bucknell sitting up there in first place and you guys uh, hot on their heels. Yeah, I mean, this is all about trying to bring the top back to you and, and try to separate yourself from the bottom. And this is our opportunity here. I mean, it's one of the key things I said to the guys is, you know, there's nothing more to be said than they're in first place. Absolutely. And there's not a whole lot of teams separating these groups. So much has been made of the Lafayette-Lehigh rivalry. Hey, uh, this newsflash, Bucknell uh, is our second most played uh, rival in the Patriot League. It's always a fun atmosphere. John, I'm sure we're going to have a great game here at Kirby Sports Center. Come on out if you can. If not, you can catch the game on GoLeopards.com and the Lafayette Sports Network with Gary Laubach and myself.